Hey guys, Aragon Angie here with Gateway to Airguns, and I have the Gamo Magnum GR, yes, again. This is a follow-up. Now, this is a pretty decent shooting Springer, but I thought that we might see if we can improve it just a little, or a lot, who knows? Let's see what happens. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. So how do I plan on improving it? Well, I'm going to give it a little bit of a tune. Now what does that mean? Because a tune can be anything from lubrication all the way from changing out the guide to changing out the spring and the guide to changing out the piston, whether you're going to modify the original piston or completely swap it out for a custom piston. Piston, it can actually be several different things, but some you should do at home, some you can do at home, but others you probably should send it to somebody who knows what they're doing. I'm not one of those. What we're going to be doing today is just applying some simple tune in a tube on the spring. And in order to do that, you must remove it from the stock. And it's simply three screws, that's it. So I take the three screws out and expose the spring in the action. And then I take the tune in the tube, put some pressure on the plunger and apply it all over the spring. Let's take it out to the range. First, shoot it those 10 to 15 times, somewhere around there, to get the sticky, ooey, gooey tune in a tube all over the spring. It will spread around and get all over it after you cock it and shoot it several times, maybe 10 or 15 times. Um, the more you shoot it, the more it'll spread. All right, let's do some testing and see if it's improved the Springer. So in what ways am I expecting improvement with the Springer? First, let's check out how it cocks and how it sounds. The only word that really comes to my mind, oh, much smoother, as I'm cocking it and then shooting it and hearing the sound is smooth. It is much better than it was as far as maybe there was a little sharpness, a little roughness to the caulking and a little sharpness and roughness to the sound of the shot where it's a little more well-rounded if that makes sense at all. Um, so definitely pleased with that. No, the caulking effort is not lessened. It is about the same, but is still a smoother feel. So let's go ahead and move on to accuracy and power. First accuracy, because to me that's much more important than power. So accuracy, accuracy test. Please forgive the noise of the neighbors. Oh, right on. Absolutely got some improvement there. Check it out. Oh, I pulled that one. That was my fault. So I'm going to scratch that one and shoot another one in its place. The 
besides the one, either it's a flyer or I pulled it, um, the rest of them oh are pretty much right there. Scratch that one too. I hesitated on that one, guys. You ever do that? Very nice. Very nice. I would say that's some pretty sweet accuracy. I do think it's better. How it does it, I don't know. The experience though, guys, the caulking is much smoother. And um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's quiet, but it may be a little smoother of a sound. I was a little tired of paperwork, so I decided to have a little fun. I pulled out the Quadrant Target from Air Guns of Arizona. I absolutely love that target. It's a challenge and it's fun to shoot at. It's got a little one inch center bowl that if you hit it, it spins. If you miss it, it's pretty obvious where you're hitting. So it's great for sighting in guns or just checking accuracy. <laughs> Super sweet. I was being a little presumptuous saying I'm gonna get it one more time. I hope to get it one more time. I got both of them. I'm counting it, guys. <laughs> so we know the caulking is smoother, the sound is smoother, and the accuracy is better. What about the velocity? I heard that you actually may lose a little bit when you add the tune in the tube to the spring. So that's what I was expecting, but I actually had a little bit of a surprise when I found that I went from 879 average FPS to 883. It's not much, but Still, a gain over a loss. I mean, I was expecting to lose and I actually gained, so I'll take it. So improvements all around, and when I first heard about the tune in the tube, I was a little reluctant. I didn't think you could get that much improvement just by applying some sticky stuff to the spring. But I'm a believer now. I actually got a lot of improvement out of that, and I've got other springers that I can apply it to. If you're interested in any of the products in this video, please check out the links in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. Y'all don't just have a good day, have an awesome one. See ya.